Hey guys, God's Regret here, bringing you a brand new Don't Fall map on Halo 3 Sandbox. The map took me about, it actually took me a couple days to make this map. Uh, it was a lot of saving and ending, because I needed a lot of things to float. Uh, on this map, it's pretty cool, because you are on the crib, so if you fall, you don't die. But if you do fall, a uh, zombie's gonna come and kick your ass, pretty much. He's just gonna rock you. Uh, I was only playing with two people, so the round ended right there. If you play with 16 people, the round goes on for a while. If you do fall, though, you do have a chance to redeem yourself. There's a teleporter. You jump through it in time before the zombie gets you. You start pretty much from the beginning. You get another chance. But you can't do it too many times because there is a time limit. So you have to be pretty quick. You probably have maybe a second chance. That's about it. Or you won't get to the end in time. This is me right here. I'm going to show you uh, what it's like through all the obstacles. Um, I make it look kind of easy here, but this actually did take me a couple tries to do. Because even though I made the map, it's still it's still a pretty difficult map to complete. Uh, if you do complete it though, at the end, which you will, which you will see later, there's uh, a couple weapons, custom power up, and you can kill all the zombies as you please. So yeah, as I'm going here, the big billboard hell sign. Uh, that took me probably the longest to make because I kept messing it up. I literally put the E backwards at one point, which was kind of a pain in the ass. So that's what pretty much took me the longest on this map. As you can see though, everything is pretty much floating, so there's a lot of saving and ending. And uh, of course, you guys know me, I'm into racing maps, so I had to throw in a couple of mongooses here. Uh, and you have to use a mongoose to get across that part, you cannot make that jump. Uh, this map is also cheat proof, there is no way to cheat on this, because um, everything's pretty much straightforward. Alright, this part here is the most difficult jump to make. Uh, that's the part that I messed up on three times and had to keep redoing this. Uh, I wanted to answer a couple of my friends' questions real quick. Uh, one of my friends was asking me uh, how Halo Reach, if I'm going to actually enjoy it, because everyone's going to be good at forging. Uh, I don't believe that's true. I believe that even though they made it easier to forge, not everybody is going to be good at it. I think the people that are good at it now are going to excel even farther and make maps faster. And the people that weren't so good at it will actually become pretty decent. But uh, I think there's still going to be that division between really good forgers and not good forgers at all. Alright, so that was a custom power up I just picked up. You get a laser, and you end up in this little platform that zombies cannot get up to, and you can just fry it. But remember, the alpha zombie has two lives, so you have to kill him twice. That's how the round ends. Uh, another thing, AFK people, if someone is not at the game and they're staying at the spawn, after one minute, the kill ball spawns, killing them, and because they have to have a second live, they respawn down on the bottom floor, and the zombie can tease them as their might. And once the zombie kills them, that's it, they're out of lives, they're done. If the zombie's AFK, no worries, just assassinate him. Uh, but he does, the alpha zombie does have two lives, as I said before, so you can mess with his head a little bit. Alright guys, thanks for checking out my brand new map, Hell.